hello everyone in this video we will be discussing about the boot sequence and the terms which is related to that that is what is warm booting what is cold booting what is bios post and many other terms uh, we would be uh, discussing about it so let's move on to the video uh, so what is booting booting is starting up a computer okay this is generally when you press a power button that is when you are starting a computer it is called booting and that starting up it can be initiated by a hardware or a software or a software it can be initiated by anything for example when you press the power button of your laptop or the power button of your system so that is hardware initiated booting and there can be other booting another type of booting which can be software initiated that is when you uh, start up a computer it is called booting okay when the uh, first that is when we power on the computer after the power is turned on some sequence of events take place okay when we press the power button some sequence of events would take place and that sequence of event is known as the boot sequence so this is the sequence of events when the power button of your system is on okay after the power is switched on the computer can only read the rom okay it can only read the rom it cannot do anything it is a dumb machine it can only read whatever is written in the rom that is whatever is written in the read only memory so in the rom there is a small program called a firmware okay it can only read this firmware now what is this firmware firmware is the combination of hardware plus software we can say it is a program which contains a hardware and a software it is a embedded program we can say like that so in the rom the firmware is stored generally the firmware is referred to as bios okay it is basic input output system that is the bios okay so bios is a firmware so you, you can uh, ha you have to remember these things bios is a firmware okay now this firmware what does this firmware contains it contains the startup instruction the startup instructions are there in the firmware or we can are there in the bios it contains all the startup instructions now uh, what what does the startup instructions are that is the bios would do the post that is par on self test post is par on self test so it would be done by the bios only now what is this actually this par on self test is it is a series of test which is uh, made to make sure that the hardware is working there is a series of test which make sure that the hardware is working or the hardware is connected properly or it is operating properly now what are these hardwares which are checked in the power on self test it can be buses it can be system cards it can be adapter cards it can be a clock it can be a ram chip and it can be a mouse it can be a driver it can be a keyboard everything every hardware is checked from mouse to keyboard to buses everything everything is checked in the power on self test okay so after checking this post it would it would res, uh, return some result some result would be there in the post okay this result of the post is then it is compared to the cmos chip now what does this cmos chip do what is the cmos chip this is a uh, uh, this is a chip which uses a battery power to retain uh, when the uh, computer is off okay that means see you would uh, remember we, you switch off your computer and when you turn it off uh, the clock of your computer would show the correct time so this is the, that runs on the cmos chip so that is the cmos chip which shows stores information about the memory the type of uh, disk drive you have the current date and another start of information is stored in the cmos chip so it would compare it with the cmos chip okay once the post is completed that is power on self test test is completed then what is the next thing when it is completed successfully then the bios that is the firmware which is there it will search for the system files that is it will search for the operating system 
system files it will search for it will search for the OS okay once it is located once the system file is located the BIOS has located the system file that is it is in the C drive or it is in the D drive once it has been located it would load it into the main memory that is it would load our uh, so operating system into the RAM okay now what would happen it would load it into the RAM and finally it would what what would it would do it would execute okay once it is executed the OS it takes control of the system it takes control of the system so this is the basic boot sequence uh, you all have to remember what is the uh, work of the post what does BIOS do if what is a uh, work of a CMOS chip uh, we all have to remember these all things okay there would be a one term which we call it as bootloader now what is the work of this bootloader see we have loading this operating system into the memory no here here we have loading the operating system into memory this is the work of the bootloader what the bootloader do is it would load uh, it is a program bootloader is a program that loads the operating system when a computer is turned on okay that is the work of the bootloader is to place the OS into memory this is the work of the bootloader to place the OS into memory is the work of the bootloader so there are terms what we have is a firmware okay BIOS power on self test that is POST CMOS chip what does it do then bootloader these are the terms which you have learned from here okay now the booting is itself is of two types the first one the first type is known as the hard boot okay hard boot and the second is the soft boot now there is the another term for hard boot that is the hard boot can be co called as the cold boot and the soft boot it can be called as the warm boot there are two types of booting now what actually this hard boot is it is okay hard boot or cold boot is you can remember that your system was in off state okay then we have turned it on then it would be hard boot suppose you have switched off your system tonight today night you have switched off your system and tomorrow morning after a few hours after uh, some hours you can you are turning it uh, on so that is called hard boot okay in the hard boot uh, this is the case of the hard boot now what is soft boot soft boot is the power is not cut that is when we are restarting it the power is itself power is there power is not cut in soft boot the power is not cut in hard boot you have switched turned off your system the power is cut so that is the soft boot in case of uh, uh, sorry the power is cut that is the hard boot and in case of soft boot the power is not cut the power is still there in your system so these are two types of booting one is the hard boot another is the soft boot so these are two types of booting okay now there are some other terms which we'll go through that is switch user now what is switch user the user switches to another account on a computer without closing or op uh, opening programs or window processors that is if you have two users user 1 and u2 you can switch between user 1 and u2 uh, user 2 so you won't close the programs in user 1 and you won't uh, when we switch to user 2 uh, from user 1 so we won't close any program suppose you have three programs running here I have two programs running. the programs would not close that is switch user log off means uh, we have user 1 and user 2 user 1 it, he would close his account and then he would go to user uh, next user so that is log off lock means locks of the computer while you are ago, uh, away so that is windows L if you press it would lock your system next is restart reboots the computer okay so it reboots the computer it is a uh, you can say it would uh, not shut down the computer completely it would not completely uh, boot the computer it would boot only the required uh, softwares the next the important thing is sleep and hibernate so we, you have to uh, understand the difference between sleep and hibernate sleep is sometimes called standby this is uh, no, uh, equal to standby or it is sometimes called suspended to RAM you have to remember this Suspend, uh, suspended to 
RAM. This is what sleep is. So whenever uh, you put your computer to sleep, it will turn into a low power mode and all the programs which you are running, suppose there are three programs running, it will move all these programs into the computer's main memory. That is, it will move these programs into RAM. Okay, so that's why it is called suspended to RAM or sleep is standby mode. Whereas hibernate, it is like, uh, it is sometimes called suspended to disk. Hibernate is called suspended to disk. So that is, when we put a computer on hibernate, uh, all the saved programs, all the programs would be saved to the disk. Okay, so this is what is, so in case of hibernate, the power consumed during hibernate is much less than the power consumed during sleep. But if we talk about faster, which is faster, sleep can uh, super, it is uh, super quick restart. It is also called super quick restart because it will restart the computer instantaneously, whereas hibernate would take some time because uh, the things you have stayed on the hard drive in case of hibernate and in case of sleep, you have suspended the programs to RAM. So for example, you are doing some work and you want to resume it after 5 or 10 minutes. So you can put it to sleep. Sleep it for lesser time. And for if you have to work after 1 hour, so you can put it on hibernate. So this is how you can decide. So questions can be based on these things also. So this was all about the video about the beat sequ uh, boot sequence and the related topics. If you like the video, please click the like button and please do subscribe our channel. Thank you.